All right, guys, back for another video. Um, we're gonna go over sugar magnolia today. I had a request to do this one, so I'm gonna break this one down. It's pretty simple. Um, a, a couple riffs he does. Most of the rest, rest of it is just chords, but uh, I'm just gonna go over the chords. I'm not gonna play anything in the background because this one's pretty straightforward. There's not a lot of uh, jamming in it, besides the ending part, but we'll get to that one. But So it starts out, slides in from the first fret to the second fret of the A. So that right there is the opening lick right there. You just sort of keep repeating that. Slide into the A. D. I'm doing it without the pinky. It's kind of just like a putting on the sus4 and the six of the A, what makes it the triad of D to emphasize that. And then instead of doing that twice, so. The second time you slide in, right after that you go. Box two four, A string two four, A string, D string four on the D string, two on the D string, and then to, right up to the A string after the two on the D string, four two on the A A. like that too. It's just a, the little box riffage. That's that's a, that's the bob part. So you can stick down there in this A and this D or you can So for the first A instead of going I would switch that one up. Do this inversion of A right here. Hammer on the minor third to the major third to emphasize that. And then for the second one, always go back down to. I've noticed he goes back down to that a lot, almost every single time, the second one, because he does that little. He could go, but it's more down here. a different version this inversion just with these two and I do it with these two fingers set me up for you can do that so as you can see there's many ways to do the intro but the main one is Make sure you slide in from the first fret to the second fret every single time you do that A. repeats that ending phrase right before he comes into the verse to start every single time there's they jam in this sugar magnolia part they uh he repeats that phrase the and i feel like that's his signal like hey i'm coming back in to sing you know that's their musical signal to say hey i didn't do the if and if you're listening then you'll hear the and you'll hear that often where uh Dre will be soloing and then Bob will kind of signal that and then they'll 
Jerry will just stop soloing and go right back to the chords. So that's kind of the signal to go into the verse. Um, you repeat that. So when you're jamming, and then you signal. Verses. Instead of sticking out in this A, you can if you want to, but I see him move up here mostly. Sugar Magnolia. This one where we're going. You do that for the first part of the verse too. Sugar Magnolia, blossoms, heads on G. So A, G, E, E, A. Two strums on E. A down here. Sugar magnolia, blossoms blooming, heads all empty and I don't care. And then right back up to this A. So my baby. So instead of sitting on this A, you end on this A for the phrase, and then you come back to this A to start the next phrase. So my baby. A. Down by the river. Down by the river. C sharp minor. F sharp major. Two, three, E. So. So my baby, C sharp minor, F sharp. One, two, three. So the whole verse. Sugar magnolia, blossoms blooming, heads all empty, and I don't care. So my baby down by the river, well, she'd have to come up soon for air. It on the but she'd have to come up soon for A. I slid up to this D and A. You can go, but she'd have to come up soon for A. Because uh, he's ending the phrase right there, and then he's just repeating that. Sweet, and then you repeat yourself. Uh, sweet blossom, come on, is the same thing as sugar magnolia, as blossoms blooming. So, sweet blossom, come on, under the willow, we can have high times if you abide. Discover the wonders of nature in the bushes down by the riverside. Okay, so that's the first part of the verse. You just repeat yourself. And then goes to She's Got Everything Delightful, and the first chord for that is D. Up here at the fifth and the seventh bar. A shaped. She's got everything. She's got everything. So you D. I think he does this one. She's got everything so all it is is switching. Taking your ring finger and dropping it down to just the G string out of the D. And then putting your pinky on the 8th fret. This is a G inversion. Five, five, index finger, 5-5, five, five, middle finger's droning. Ring finger is seventh fret G string and pinky is eighth fret B string out of the out of the D. So she's got everything delightful. She's got everything I need. So after that, so D G D D A D. So that's like the little just like the G to two up strums. She's got everything to be delightful. She's got everything I need. Takes the wheel when I'm saying double. Pays my ticket when I speed. So instead of going back into the A right there, you saw how I went up to E and then A. So. She's got everything. She's got everything to be And then you go to A for the first one back to D. And the second one is E, A. Just 
slide up the D, this little D to G you're doing, slide it up to E to A. And you can leave this A string open and emphasize the because it's an A chord. It's one of those exception chords where you can hit the open string with it. Signal you want to come back in. So you can see I'm just repeating the first verse from Sugar Magnolia, Blossoms Blooming. I'm doing the same exact thing I'm doing in this, in my hands, but I'm singing a different verse. So when you come out of the first jam and you signal you want to come back in, then that's the Same thing. You can dance a Cajun rhythm, jump like a wheelies and four-wheel drive. She's my summer love in spring, fall, and winter. She can make happy any man alive. And then instead of going to the la da 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 after that, you're gonna go to the chorus. I consider it the sugar magnolia, ringing that bluebell. So yeah, this is how he does it. So A, G, D, A. So this inversion of A. And you go up to this inversion of G, the C-shaped G. I'm going to make a, a video on the cage system on how all these chords come about. And when I say the C-shaped G, then you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm going to make a whole video on that. But uh, this is a C-shaped C. -shape, C C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G. So it's just C, C shape moved all the way up. So A, G, and then this G shape D, back to the A. But he doesn't put his pinky on the top. It's just... Adds the E right there for that. Go on out singing, I walk you in the sunshine. It's four chords right there. So A, E, G, D. Come on, honey, come on. Riff. So that part is just a. Uh, that's the only little change. So A, G, D. for that D because he really holds that one out so when it goes come on I see and I walk you in the sunshine come on honey come on on with me back to the D and G got everything delightful she's got everything I need breeze in the pines in the summer night moonlight crazy in the sunlight Now this part is sometimes when the cuckoos cry it's just a sometimes when the cuckoos d a little sus four sometimes when the cuckoos cry when the moon is halfway down so i've seen him be up here do sometimes when the cuckoos cry or you can go 
That part is gonna be when you this the key change up to B. So sometimes in the cuckoo's crying when the moon is halfway down. And then you're gonna go to this B. G shape B, how we just did this D. This D right here. Move that all the way down to where your index finger is on the fourth. B. And now you're gonna actually put your pinky on the top. Your middle finger is not doing anything. where the major third's kind of the prominent note. So sometimes when the cuckoo's crying, when the moon is halfway down. Right to that chord. Sometimes when the night and the B. So right after that B you wanna go to because how you doing A to D. How you doing B to E. Same little thing, it's just a whole step up. And this E is a C-shaped E. Same thing with the G, so. This one right here. This chord slid all the way down to the seventh. This is an E. So it's the B and the E. Sometimes when the night is dying, take me out and I wander around. So slide down to the A. Take me out and I A, E, D, A. That's how you kind of fall into that. It's a, it's, a, it's a whole mess of chords to get into the B, but so. Sometimes when the night is dying, take me out in a A, E, D, A, E, B, A, B, B. And then switches to this B kind of for this, the pr prominent jam. B, but he kind of takes off the pinky and does the Chuck Berry six. B, E, B, F sharp, B. And he does it all in all different fashions, so you could do. with all different versions of B, F sharp, and E, kind of just connecting all of them. And then if you have a band to play with and you do all these little rhythm tricks, really get the band to emphasize the after the six.
on F sharp to E. So yeah, that's kind of the walkthrough of Sugar Mag. I hope that helps, and uh, let me know if this video format helped out, if you want me to play a song behind it, if that works better. Let me know what you guys think. I love your feedback, and way more to come. Thanks for watching, guys.